Yo, what's up? It's Kushus back with another video again. Today I'm going to be showing you how I make my homemade colloidal silver. And all you need is some silver rods. They need to be 99.999% pure silver. So only high grade silver can be used. I just got these on Amazon and I just stuck them in here. These are called self-healing injection ports. I just happen to have some of these from a previous project that I did. But you can use whatever you need to use to get them to stick through the lid like that, you know. So just get creative and it can be as ghetto as can be and it's still going to work. So basically I just stick my rods in there, put it in the water here and most instructions you'll see for making the silver tells you to use distilled water. I was actually making a video about two weeks ago, um, the same video here using distilled water and it just wasn't coming out right. It was coming out a gray color and it should be a nice like amber color. So what this is here, it's water from my dehumidifier. So I used that instead and I did a test run earlier. It came out good, just like my previous runs using the same water. So that's what I'm using. For my power here, we have a Ryobi charger. I cut off the plug and connected these alligator clips to the leads with wires. So when I plug in the battery, it powers those alligator clips. I also have an 18 volt plug here with alligator clips on it as well, which I can use if I don't want to use the batteries. But for this, we're gonna use the batteries just cause it works just fine. So let me go ahead and clip these on here. Now you wanna make sure they're separated good enough because it will create buildup on these rods as I'll show you later. And that buildup can actually touch each other and create a connection and you'll have sparks inside the jar. And you don't want that, especially if it's plugged into the wall. That's one reason I like using the battery because it's just, I feel like it's a little safer than having it plugged into the wall. Okay, so we'll go ahead and pop our battery in here and get it running. And I usually let it run about two to three hours. I find that that gives a really good silver solution. Now I don't know if you can see in here, but you see the bubbles coming up. That's how you know it's working and doing its thing. So we'll come back in a little bit. I'll show you a picture of the buildup. And you could take it, you could take, you could stop it in between and wipe off the buildup to try to keep it cleaner. Or you could just leave it and what I do is I filter it at the end and it works just fine. So yeah, we'll come back in maybe a half hour. I'll let you see what it looks like and then we'll come back after that when, when it's all done. All right, we're back at about an hour in and you could see all the buildup on the rods there. So at this point, you can go ahead and stop it and wipe that off and clean it. Or you could just leave it and filter it out with the coffee filter when you're done. So we'll come back when it's all done and check it out one last time. All right, looks like we're all done. It's about two hours and 15 minutes 
But as you can see, we got a nice dark amber color here. And that's what you really want. You can barely see the rods in there. So after that, um, what I do is I, I will filter it with one of these paper coffee filters. And then from there, um, I put it in one of these spray bottles and I have it labeled silver. And I use this empty peroxide bottle to store the extra solution because it's a dark container and it'll just help it last a little longer because from what I've read exposure to light will degrade it so so you want to use a dark spray bottle and store it in a dark bottle as well but other than that um, that's it you got yourself some reversal spray so you can make some feminized seeds and I have a video coming up of me reversing plants using the silver that will be up soon. I'm currently in the process of doing that so maybe another couple weeks and I'll have that up for you guys. Alright thanks for watching like and subscribe and we'll see you next time. Peace.